tell us just a little bit more about who Friedrich Mertz is. Well, in the 90s, he was seen as a rising star, an advocate of liberal economic policies. And then he got into a clash with Angela Merkel. Don't know how to put it any other way. And in 2002, he lost a race for a parliamentary seat. And uh, in 2009, he basically gave up on politics, went off, became a millionaire, worked for BlackRock, sort of had a private jet kind of lifestyle and came back into the party to try to take over the leadership of the party when Angela Merkel, who was the chancellor and she was 16 years chancellor, um, in order to take the reins, perhaps you come and he lost twice in that race. And now it's third time lucky. He's managed to become um, the secretary general of the party. And he's got a huge task uh, ahead of him because he's picking up the pieces that were left behind the Christian Democratic Union's worst ever electoral performance since it was founded after the Second World War. Yeah, and uh, since the Second World War, it's been in power 52 years. Now it's confined to the opposition for the next three years. So what are Mertz's uh, priorities going to be? Well, he made a speech afterwards, not surprisingly. It was all digital. It was all, you know, online. They, they had to cancel the actual in-person meeting, but that's that's pretty much par for the course here um, in, in, in a lot of German politics, including in the last elections. Uh, he said, not surprisingly, he's going to draft a new policy for the uh, party. Uh, he is going to create a strong opposition, and he is going to make sure that it wins or does well in the four state elections. Four of the 16 states uh, in, in Germany are holding regional elections this year. And those are really seen as bellwethers of a secretary general's performance if, if, if he or she can boost the scores. So I think that's what he has set in front of him. He already used this speech as an opportunity to enter into opposition, attacking the current chancellor, SPD um, man Olaf Scholz, saying he was weak on Ukraine and other chancellors in the past would have stood up to Moscow, would have visited Moscow, would have visited Washington. So he's already getting into, you know, in, into action, I think, in, in, into the messaging. He's often described as an arch conservative or a conservative or a hardliner. But when he was campaigning to take on this job, he moderated his message to a certain extent, reached out a lot to women, reached out a lot to gays, reached out a lot to to younger people uh, saying that, that, you know, these people need to be part of the Christian Democratic Union. Historically, it's been called a big tent party. Now it's become, I don't want to, you know, something like a two-man pup tent party. Only one in five Germans has been voted, one in four Germans has been voting for it. It needs to do much better, and Christian uh, Friedrich Mertz thinks he's the man to do it. All right, Nick, thank you very much. Nick Spicer reporting from Berlin.